minus 22 with strong wind. Two ski resort in one day. Drone phone is in Chongli to show you around this popular winter destination. Good day, welcome back to Drone Phone. This is the last episode of my winter spots in Beijing area. Uh, today I'm in Chongli, uh, one of the nice ski ground. This is called the Wanlong, supposedly to have the uh, uh, longest history. But I'm also going to another, I bought a drone pass, which is Genting uh, Ski Resort. Uh, they host the uh, 2022 uh, Olympic Winter Olympic Games. That's how it goes. Beijing is well known for its rich history and culture. For this series, Zhuang Feng sent our best presenter in the team to show you the other side of the capital in the winter time. We camp on ice, hike along a stream, skate next to the ancient palace, walk in a gorge, and ski on hollowed ground, home to the Winter Olympic Games. Follow us on this new adventure to find out what you can do in Beijing in winter. In this series, I flew from Hong Kong to Beijing. For this episode, I rent a car and drive to Chongli district in Zhangjiakou, which is about 224 kilometers away from the capital airport. The drive takes about three hours on the highway. It's a scenic drive that offers glimpses of the Great Wall from time to time. You can also hop on a train to get there, and it takes about the same time. Beijing 2022 Olympics. I can see um, some ski slope in the distance. Chongli. Wanlong Ski Resort is open from 8.30 in the morning to 4.30 in the afternoon. It provides a full set of services from gear rentals to sales of the latest equipment you'd like for skiing. A 530 RMB day pass includes gear rental. I booked a joint ski pass online, which works for both Wanlong and Genting ski resorts. It costs 610 RMB and the gear rental is about 150 RMB. Uh, this here. Quickly settled the ski pass and uh, I rented uh, some of the gear. So uh, I have to ski. Yeah, uh, helmet is on, keep you safe, then uh, we can go. I am in full gear and I cannot wait to get on the ski slope. Oh, okay. Here there's 12. Let's go. The Van Long Resort has 31 courses for skiers of varying levels. I am just about to get into the intermediate level but need more practice. If you are new to skiing, you can hire a coach here. Okay, let's go to uh, Genting. So we'll go there later. Ooh. Windy. Very windy. I take my time to get familiar with the surroundings. It's not too busy as it's a weekday. Super Super it's almost 12 o'clock. My stomach is reminding me to take a break. Now, if you feel too cold outside, this is always a, a cafe and the many, many restaurants here. Uh, you can get some supplies. So, um, it's a little bit cold for me. I'll talk later. No time to waste. After food and drinks, I immediately got back onto the lift to ski some more. The weather is changing, the sun is out. Now you can see much better. Quite nice here. Quite nice. The only problem here is when it's always windy. We are on the top of the hill, uh, 2,300 meters each. It's always windy. Look at that. Ooh, nice. The Genting Ski Resort is just next door. It's open from 8.45 am to 4.30 pm. 
and the day pass costs 363 RMB, including gear rental. Here you can check the Genting Resort. So flipping cold. Ah. Ah, that's where they host the Olympics. The resort hosted the freestyle skiing and the snowboarding events of the Beijing Winter Olympics in 2022. Some part of this course is quite technical. Ooh. Ooh. A little bit too fast. It's one of the coldest days in Chongli. It's so cold that the other phone just stopped working because it's too cold. I have to put it in my pocket close to my body. You can see this is uh, from the Beijing Winter Olympics 2022. And the facility is relatively new. Got spa, restaurant, and all that. Really, really nice. It also has an impressive lift. This one is quite fancy. Comes with a cover, so you won't be too cold with the wind. Skiing is all the rage in China, and that popularity has given a boost to other enterprises. I will let you in on a little secret. Okay, I just met a photographer on top of the <laughs> ski resort and he's from uh, Go Ski. He's taking picture of everyone and he can buy from them later. Oh, look at the turtle, so cool. You can buy the picture later on through the smartphone app, but it is only available in Chinese for now. Guess what? I bought mine. Oh, it's so cold, so cold. I've tried both of the uh, ski resorts. So apparently Genting area is slightly less windy uh, than the Wanlong area. Uh, maybe because it's the other, side, the other side of the mountain. But both sides are equally cold. I cannot feel my hand when I'm filming, but really enjoyed it, so nice. After a few more rounds of skiing, the weather is fun. The sun is out, it's actually really nice here. But it's getting late, we need to go back to Manlo. Bye, Genting. Bye. Back to Manlo. I have to say, I'm getting addicted to skiing. I cannot stop. I take the lift again and again for many more rounds. Well, this is the end of the show. It's also the last episode of the whole series. You can see the sun is setting. There's no more lift after finish. Um, I have to say it's rather colder than I thought, but I really enjoyed it. The snow was so much fun. Please check previous episodes and also let us know your thoughts. Um, you can also like and subscribe our channel where you watch it and also check previous episodes on dronephone.com. My name is Jack and this is Drone the Phone. Bye bye!